Hi everyone, I'm Hai Chuan Hu from Huazhong University of Science and Technology. Our talk introduces Lambda Grapher, a resource-efficient solar system for GN serving through graph sharing. Graph neural networks have been widely used in web services for their powerful capability in graph analysis, such as financial fraud detection, shopping recommendation, and social network analysis. This GN-based application imposes strict latency requirements and have a high appetite for resources. However, the characteristics of GN workloads pose challenges in achieving both high-performance and resource-efficient GN inference serving. We summarize two characteristics of GN inference workloads. The first being multi-scale workload fluctuations. First, we introduce the typical workflow. When the request arrives, the user is set as the target vertex and the n-hop computation graph is fetched. Then, the graph computed layer by layer. The workload fluctuates at three levels. Request level fluctuations are represented by burstiness in requests per second. Graph level fluctuations concern the size of the computation graph. Layer level fluctuations concern the number of vertices at each GN layer. These fluctuations can be significant even in a short period. Another characteristic is varying resource sensitivity. Each GN layer is composed of two alternating operations, aggregates and updates. Aggregates is memory sensitive. The memory usage for aggregate is 10 times greater than that of update. In contrast, update is compute sensitive. With the increase of CPU cores, the latency of update decreases more than that of aggregate. Unfortunately, the existing systems suffer from resource inefficiency due to the multi-scale workload fluctuations and the varying resource sensitivity. In traditional clouds, instances are always initially provisioned with excessive resources. Then, the computation graphs are sent for inference. When the workload fluctuates, the system applies a threshold based scaling policy based on monitoring the memory utilization. However, the long delay in changing the resources restricts their capacity of handling short term request spikes. The request-centric solar system handles each request by triggering a function invocation, providing on-demand resources. AWS Lambda operates in this way. However, in task scheduling, due to the overlap between computation graphs arriving within a period, the request-centric method leads to significant redundancy. In resource management, the function resource is fixed during the whole process, which is unable to cope with the varying resource sensitivity. Based on real-world chases from Twitter, we observe the average row wrap rate can reach 44.2%. Significant redundancy can be avoided by batching requests for graph sharing. We refer to this method as graph-centric. The following highlights the benefits of graph sharing between two consecutive requests, promoting us to develop a graph-centric method. In resource management, we can decouple, aggregate, and update, and customize resources for each of them. Figure shows that with this approach, significant memory and CPU reductions can be achieved, promoting us to develop a resource-centric method. We propose a new concept of soulless augmented GN serving. We batch requests for graph sharing to minimize the redundancy, which referred to graph-centric task scheduling. We manage functions in resource groups, decoupling the operations and customizing functions to cluster to the varying resource sensitivity, which referred to resource-centric function management. However, it's non-trivial to fulfill the idea. First, how can we batch requests to maximize the chance of graph sharing? 
multi buffers with adaptive timeout adjustment and routing rules are all necessary. Second, how to efficiently execute batched requests. A dynamic graph scheduling is essential for organizing graph sharing. Third, how to conceal inter-function communication overhead. It's important to fine-tune a pipeline so that all the functions achieve load balancing to maximize overhead hiding. To tangle these challenges, we develop a resource-efficient solar system for GN serving called the Lambda Grapher. When requests arrive, the parser analyzes for the target IDs. Then, the configurator queries the graph database and generates the data indices. Next, according to the data indices, the router routes the requests to the multi-buffers. The configurator queries the states and the building messages to adjust the timeout. Meanwhile, the graph scheduler reschedules the requests within multi-buffers and performs dynamic graph scheduling. When a buffer timeout, the batch requests are sent for the newly created orchestrator. The function performs collaborate inference as per the orchestrated process. In the following, we will focus on the graph-centric SOLAS task scheduling strategy and the resource-centric SOLAS function management mechanism. The timeout is a key factor for the trade-off between graph sharing degree and the inference timeliness. Two small timeouts bring few benefits from graph sharing, while two large timeouts delay the inference. We propose a mu metric mu to weigh the performance gain. When mu remains high, we greatly increase the timeout to harvest the higher graph sharing benefits. When mu remains low, we conservatively decrease the timeout to ensure timely inference. Specifically, we record the service history and employ decision tree recreation for learning the adjustment granularity. Next, we summarize the routine rules. When the request for arrives, it overlaps with the request 2 and the request 3. A simple way is to route request 4 to the buffer with the highest graph sharing degree, which is buffer 2. However, due to the overlooking the graph sharing chance with other requests, this method can cause performance gains to converge towards local rather than global optimal. We propose the global perspective routing to reschedule other requests, aiming for the global optimal. The case D represents the optimal scheduling. When requests are batched, organizing graph sharing to reduce the redundancy is necessary. First, we ex expand the computation graph into a computation tree. Second, merge common vertices at the same depths. Third, schedule the scheduler to reuse the intermediate results. The example shows a significant reduction in redundancy. The benefits could grow exponentially with more shared graphs. Another part of dynamic graph scheduling is graph partitioning. Since no vertices join in the computation at every GN layer, we conduct the inter-layer partitioning for each layer input to prevent unnecessary resource occupation. In order to provide the scalability and the concurrency of inference, we conduct intra-layer partitioning. There is no dependency between partitions within the same layer, allowing concurrent execution. We manage functions with resource groups. The memory functions only handle aggregates, while the compute functions only handle updates. We employ Bayesian optimization to determine the resource and the concurrency of each function. The optimization goal is to save resources as much as possible while ensuring the SAO. We organize functions in a pipeline, allowing hiding the interfunction communication overhead within their respective computations. Thanks to determine the optimal resource ratio and the concurrency among functions, 
the pipeline could improve load balancing and overhead hiding. We build Lambda Grapher on top of Knative. We compare Lambda Grapher with two state-of-the-art systems on real-world chases and classic GM models. GraphLearn repre represents traditional cloud systems, and AWS GNN represents the request-centric serverless systems. With the graph-centric task scheduling and the resource-centric function management, Lambda Grapher can save an average of 61.5% memory and 47.2% computing resource compared to the state of the art. For the inference performance, GraphLearn over provisions resources to ensure lower inference latency, but its scaling policy struggles the workload fluctuations, resulting in a high variation rate. AWS GNN's request Centric policy is two cost to corporate graph or layer level fluctuations. Lambda grapher can ensure inference latency and fully leveraging SEO slack by analyzing GN workloads. To validate the adaptive timeout module, we set fixed lower and upper bounds at baselines. The lower bound configuration overlooks data lo locality, resulting in low resource efficiency. With the upper bound configuration, although optimizing memory resources requires additional computing resources to ensure the SEO, Lambda Grapher can balance the benefits of graph sharing and the risk of variating SEOs by adjusting the timeout. To validate the resource allocation module, we set big peak-based coupling and equal distribution-based decoupling as baselines. Coupling method cannot cope with the resource sensitivity. In the DC method, there is a mismatch in execution speed among functions. Lambda Grapher can determine the optimal resource ratio for memory and compute functions, maximizing resource e efficiency. In summary, our work introduces Lambda Grapher, a resource efficient solar system for GN serving, which combines the graph-centric task scheduling to minimize the redundancy, and resource-centric function management to match the resource sensitivity. Lambda Grapher can save an average of 61.5 memory and 47.2% computing resources compared to the state-of-the-art while ensuring the SEO. That's all. Thank you.